say? This is Gabe Hordos, the supervising animator on B Movie. Let's see just what it takes to turn Jerry and his friends into funny flying bees. Well, show me a little bit like what you do now. What does a day in your life, how do you make this come to life? Well, I'll, I'll use an example of one of the scenes I did. It's got a little bit of action and um, basically some guy named Hector, he needs to have a sword fight with Barry. And the sword fight is going to be with thumbtacks. Where'd you get the honey? It's ours now. Once we figure out what we're going to do, then I start to draw it. You know, Barry's going to be right here. This guy's head is going to be, you know, coming back and his mouth is opening up. I'll just start feeling how this movement needs to happen. As I'm figuring that out, I'll just start really putting in some, you know, some, some pretty decent detail in the drawing just to try and figure out a nice appealing sort of pose. So while I'm doing these drawings, I really think about the movement, but sometimes you just can't quite figure it out in your head. So what I like to do is I like to get up in front of my mirror. It's people laughing because I have this huge mirror in my office, but I, I like to get up and actually just act out the scene. And, and it really sort of helps me to figure out what I'm doing. So I know that that guy, he's got to have to fight the, the bee. So I, I'll just kind of, you know, start. And when you're animating, you kind of, you're a ham, you know, you kind of act it up a little bit. So you're kind of, as you're figuring it out, you're kind of sitting in your room and you figure out the movements. Ah, you're too late. It's ours now. You are about to be launched for Iguana Ignacio. So that when I go back to my drawings, I'll, I'll know, okay, that's what I did wrong. So once you get it from here, how do you put it on the computer? In this program, we have the character. And then you just kind of start animating it and you flip your, you flip your poses, which I've already sort of done, and you figure out how this movement's gonna work. Now you have to then, to get one movement, move the arm, the elbow, the wrist, each individual finger. Yeah, and mm -hmm. I just basically just feel the animation to what I was acting out before. Just mm -hmm. think about like, you know, his head has to come forward more than his arm does. So as you're coming forward, your, your arm is still going back, but your head's coming forward. And then, you know, as you swing, your, your elbow breaks a little bit like that. And so you get this little, you know, swinging movement. I mean, the final version looks something like this anyway. And that's, you know, two weeks of work or maybe a week and a half of work that goes by like that. We don't realize the hundreds of people and the thousands and thousands of hours that go in to yeah. making that movie. I mean, I worked on the movie for about a year and I think I did maybe two minutes of the movie. You, sir, have crossed the wrong sword. You, sir, are about to be launched for my iguana, Ignacio. I mean, it's probably some of the coolest stuff I've ever got to do. I mean, how often do you get to have a sword fight with a bee, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's pretty inventive and it's pretty darn cool. That's it for Hollywood Fast Track, brought to you by Milk, the healthier alternative. We'll see you next time on Hollywood Fast Track. Well, what made you choose Captain Jack out of everything else you could have chosen? Well, actually, first I chose the Wookiee. Birthday, Mr. Prescott.